It's Brian Preston, the money guy. We've got a question from Warren W. to kick us off. He says, what is the best credit card out there? Mm. Rewards, etc. What should he be looking for? He pays it off every month without question. So what do you think? So this is uh, subjective. I think this is very much experiential. In my opinion, there is not a best credit card. Uh, for most financial mutants, there is a credit card suite or a stable that might be really useful depending on the way that you consume and your behavior. Uh, I personally, Brian, I'll be curious to get your way in this. I really like cash back cards because uh, we don't travel a ton. I don't necessarily need the travel rewards or the miles as much. So I love that whenever I get a card or I select a card, I really like to either get a discount on my purchase price or physically get cash back. Do you agree or would you do more of the travel stuff? No, I, I think it is very much a personal decision. And I, I, first, I also want to give a disclaimer. A lot of influencers get some type of money for recommending, pushing, recommending yeah. credit cards. We don't, we we don't, don't get do that. Any. We don't get into that game. Um, so I'm just I'm only speaking as Brian, the user of credit cards. Bo speaking as Bo, the user of credit cards. Um, I, I do agree that I think for the lion's share of folks out there, like that Fidelity, Fidelity, Rewards Fidelity Visa. Visa credit card that doesn't have an annual fee and will pay you 2% back on with no caps is a really a good foundational card. thing because you don't have to worry about which quarter you're, you, you know, because some of these, like Discover and some of the others, they're great until you realize that it's kind it's of a, a lot trap of work to that, keep they, up with. that you have to keep up with which spending categories are paying the 5%. And, and who wants to, you already have, a, you're in the messy middle of life with kids, responsibilities, work. Let, let's just keep it simple if mm -hmm. we can. Um, I will tell you, though, for those financial mutants, that have reached a level, and it, 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 that's a good core one. But I will tell you, my mind was blown when we had Clark Howard yeah. on, who I consider just a huge inspiration in my financial life. And I know how tight Clark is. Um, for anybody who's from the Southeast, specifically Atlanta, you know Clark can make a, a dollar dance. <laughs> I mean, he, it's an amazing thing to see what, what he can do with his wealth-building journey and how he shared that um, in, in a very abundant cycle type of way. And when he shared his credit cards with us, and I saw that Amex Platinum, I was like, what? Clark Howard? Clark you? Howard has an Amex Platinum? That, that card has like a six or $700 annual fee. My wife has been asking for that for years, but there's no way I want to pay six or $700. When I saw that Clark had it, and then I really went a deep dive into the rewards. For somebody who's reached a level of success that you are traveling a lot. Mm -hmm. and, and that's kind of now that the world has opened back up. I will tell you, I immediately after we recorded that show went and opened an Amex Platinum. And I, it is incredible. Don't do this. Do not speed this decision up if you're in the beginning of your financial journey. This might even be, if we were putting a financial order of operation, maybe the Amex Platinum is step eight of the financial order of operations because <laughs> it's not something you should not aspire to have a $600, $700 annual fee. But I got to tell you, I, now that my wife and I, with our daughters, are traveling more, we are stacking mm -hmm. the benefits up on it, and, and that's that's pretty powerful. But for I think us. there, are even if travel is your thing, I mean, I think there are other cards too. Even if you don't go with the Amex Platinum, like the Southwest card, I know is one that's really really popular. That a lot of people who fly Southwest, there's uh, it's a pretty decent card to use. Again, like you said, you have to be someone who travels to be able to justify those benefits. The, the other thing I like to think about are what are the things that me and my family do often? Uh, we go out to eat and we put gas in the cars because my wife is constantly having to take kids to activities and that kind of stuff. So a card that offers a special benefit for eating out type things as well as for gas type things makes a lot of sense. And we get a lot of smiling boxes that show up on our front doorstep. So if there's a card out there that makes the smiling boxes a little bit cheaper, that's not a horrible solution. So we, to solve those two problems, we use the city card as our like eating out and gas card. I mean, the Costco, the Costco, the city Costco, Costco card. Uh, and then we use the Amazon card for all of our Amazon or Whole Foods purchases, which is great. Those are places that we're going to spend money anyways. And since we're going to spend money in those places, we have a car that allows us to get a little bit of benefit from doing that. And of course, we pay all of them off every single month. Yeah, that's the, that's the big takeaway to close out. Pay it off every month. Remember, credit card use, okay. Credit card debt, no way.